Hi everyone, today I'll be fulfilling a request uh, and show an Ogre versus Alfling game. Now, uh, instead of uh, an ex exhibition game, which I thought I might have to do, uh, I was able to advance my Ogre campaign until I got Alflings as, uh, as members of the tournament. So you'll see uh, my team instead of the computers. Now, the only problem is that it's still a pretty uh, young team. I was able to, uh, to hire uh, the full increment of ogres, since I have now six. However, they're not really uh, advanced level-wise. I do have a level three snodling with jump up and plus one agility. So he's pretty much my ball carrier. Uh, as far as ogres go, I was a bit lucky with one and I rolled doubles, so I gave him block. And I have two more level two ogres, I gave them guard. So they're my frontline uh, players. I Right now, I only have 14 players. Um, I had another Snotling who was level 2, but since I'm trying my best to keep my uh, team value as low as possible, I just threw him out and hired a new one. You know, fresh ones only cost 20,000, so it's not that bad. Only have three rerolls. I'm trying to survive with that for, for the moment. Not easy. But if I can keep my team value low enough for long enough, then I'll be able to get several rerolls at once and have a pretty decent treasury to boot. So, what happened to these guys? If I look at my team statistics, so far they have played seven games. I was lucky enough not to lose, which of course means that they're due. They're long overdue for a loss and I'm facing halflings, so technically I shouldn't lose, but in Blood Bowl <laughs> there's nothing uh, there's nothing as, such as certainty. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I did draw my first two games which ended up as uh, nil-nil draws. Pretty boring to watch, but still. Thankfully, uh, that was still in my first tournament, I was able uh, to win my third game, one nothing against a necromantic team. Then, in the semi-finals, I ended up uh, playing against dwarves that I, uh, I had drawn beforehand nil-nil. Uh, the second time around, everything went fine. I think I won one nothing. And in the final, I met the necromantic team once again, and this time ended up winning two nothing. So hey, everything was going great. And since then, I had two other games in the uh, the new tournament. And let's look at what happened. So in the first game, I won to nothing against elves. I was uh, just as surprised as you are. And then I won to nothing against dwarves. I just I don't know what's going on, but you know there's something in the water. My my ogres are doing really well. So this time I'll be going against the. Pinkfoot Panthers, and well, as you know, halflings are pretty bad players, and they're really, really not durable. However, they're still twice as strong as a Snutling, and they have one more armor value than them. They do have the same move, so it shouldn't be that difficult. They do have two Treemen, and those hurt. <clears throat> so I'm debating whether or not I leave. Snotling is on the front line <laughs> to save, save my uh, my ogres, but we'll see. 
we'll see how it goes. So, let's go prepare a game. I have 100, uh, 1,460 team value. So, uh, yeah, their team is worth less. So, they'll get 100,000 uh, free. And they didn't, didn't have any inducement money to spend. So, yeah, I'll put them in black. Nah. Ah, in purple. Still, nah. <sighs> in black. Oh. Technically, they sh uh, since they have one, uh, they had one hundred thousand. They should have bought either two blood uh, bloodwiser babes, which really could have helped uh, in this game, or one extra reroll. But the computer didn't buy anything, which is completely stupid. And no human uh, opponent would ever do that. Still, heh, anyway. It works in my favor, so I don't really mind that much. So, will I receive or kick? I will receive. This way, his treeman will have to attack me. And I will be able to put my ogres... Uh, out of reach. Okay, so let's see. Here's my super snuddling. I will keep a couple of ogres in this area. Well, yeah. Let's see. So, one more snuttling here, and my super snuttling with two ogre bodyguards should go rather well. However, you never know, of course. So, let's look at the kickoff. Quick snap. This is always good. I will approach my players. And <laughs> say hello to my ogre. And here's one as well. And my snutlings are just going to get out of the way. This is pretty much the perfect role I could have hoped for when starting. This way, I don't have to worry about the treeman wrecking. Uh, <laughs> Wrecking my uh, my front line. Oh boy, already a bonehead roll. They have dodge, so he'll evade. I will stay in place though. This one will. Ah, so let's see. I have one with guard here, another one with guard. One with block here. Okay. Mm, so it would pre be preferable to attack those guys. We can't hit anything, of course. Uh, yeah, my guy will go here. And my super snuttling will pick up the ball. Hmm. Right here. So this snuttling, thanks to his two ogre friends, has a two dice roll. Uh, yeah, I won't move. <laughs> 